So you're wondering where you should post your photography work these days to get more followers, more clients and stay booked and busy? I've been a photographer for seven years and I've managed to grow a decent following on social media as well as work with some really cool brands and some really cool clients. I'm going to break down some of the platforms that you could be posting your work on and give my opinion on whether I think it's worth it or not. My name is Ian Hippolyte. If you like photography content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also check out some of my other videos. So we're going to start off with the OG photography platform, Instagram. Is Instagram dead in 2024? Hmm, I don't think so. We've seen a huge shift in Instagram over the years from 2012 to now. We've seen the introduction of video content, we've seen live streaming, we've seen stories, we've seen long form video content. Remember when IGTV was a thing? And now the introduction of Reels as well. But there hasn't been too much change for the photo community. We're still restricted to a four by five aspect ratio for portrait photos. They still compress our images down so the quality isn't that great. And the algorithm still punishes you for posting in landscape. However, I still think it's the go-to place for most people when it comes to looking at your work as a photographer, a filmmaker, a visual artist. Whenever I meet someone new in person, they always want to exchange Instagrams to take a look at my work. So I think it's super important to have a regular Instagram presence and keep your feed updated. Posting photos on your main feed is a great way for potential clients to get a bit of an overview about who you are and the work that you do and keep updated with the new work that you're putting out. But if you're looking for new followers and to attract new people within the app itself, Posting on your main feed is not really what's gonna do it. What's gonna help grow your following count on Instagram is Instagram Reels. Now obviously Reels are for video based content and as a photographer you might be thinking mm, well I don't do video I just take photos but there are other creative ways which you can introduce your photography into video format and into Reels. One of the most obvious ways is including behind the scenes footage from your photo shoots and combining that with the final photos into a nice Reel. Another way is to show before and afters. You could maybe vlog your shoot day and take people along with you on the journey of the photo shoot or you could simply put together a montage of some of your favorite photos from the shoot, put a nice sound behind it and post that as a reel. I posted this reel where I showed my work over the years and it got so much more engagement than it would have if I just posted it as a picture on the feed or as a carousel on the feed. Typically for me, I would get somewhere between two and 4,000 likes on an Instagram post this post got over 30,000 likes and hundreds of thousands of views. And it also gained me loads of followers, at least 10,000 followers I gained from posting this reel alone. And the more people that are seeing your work, the more people that are engaging with it and more people that are sharing it, it means you're more likely to get new clients through that as well. So I definitely think Instagram is worth keeping up with and maintaining a presence on there is gonna be super important throughout 2024. Moving on to Instagram's granddad, Facebook. Now, is it worth posting your photography on Facebook? It depends on your market and what kind of photography you do. Personally, I think that for Facebook is really catered towards personal connections. It's catered towards friends and family. And so if your photography maybe suits that market, then it could be a good place for you. For example, if I was a family photographer, portrait photographer, maternity photographer, for example, a lot of that photography is very personal. You're gonna get a lot of client referrals, a lot of word of mouth. And so I think that Facebook could be a good place to have a presence so that your clients and customers can tag you in the photos that you've taken and people can go to your page and see more of your work and maybe inquire or book you through that as well. But as a fashion photographer, for me personally, I don't really feel like Facebook is that beneficial. As I said, it could be depending on your niche and what style of photography that you do. Everybody's talking about TikTok, but I don't know how I feel about TikTok when it comes to photography specifically. In my experience, it's not really a great platform for just posting your work and trying to get new followers and new clients. You have to be a lot more creative. Because of how the algorithm works, a lot of your photography TikToks are gonna end up on the For You pages of other photographers who aren't really your target audience. However, if you want to educate people or entertain people who have a similar interest to you, by all means go ahead. It could really boost your personal profile and gain you some followers who may come over to some of your other platforms, like Instagram, for example. And a lot of people are using TikTok now as a search engine, so if you were making posts about fashion photography, some people may type that into the search and come across your photography and maybe take interest and maybe want to book you from there. I think it's a good tool to reach new people. It just might not translate into cash money. But I don't know, they're always introducing new features and it seems like they're trying to do the job of a lot of other social media platforms like Instagram and also like YouTube. So we'll see where TikTok goes. Now let's talk about X, formerly known as Twitter. I can't even call it X, it's just 
there's such a horrific name, like, ugh. As we all know, this platform has gone completely downhill since it was bought by Elon Musk. But is it a good place to post your photography work? Well, let's look at the pros. Photos on Twitter are very high quality. And the other thing I like about it is the shareability. The platform is largely based around retweets or reposts. So someone could see your post and then share it onto the timeline or everyone that follows them, which means that your work has the ability to reach a lot of people and potentially go viral as well. But this shareability and this virality doesn't really translate into new clients or new opportunities. The timeline moves very quickly and so a lot of the time something can gain some traction and then two seconds later no one's talking about it. So a post can gain thousands of retweets, thousands of likes, but you might not gain many new followers or many new inquiries or any new business from that. But like with anything you could just get lucky and it could reach the right person and then you could get something from it, but nothing's really guaranteed. Do I think it's worth posting on Twitter in 2024? I don't think so as a priority. If you are engaged with maybe a community of people and you tweet a lot and you have a lot to say and you have discussions on there and stuff like that you can sort of build up a following for your everyday sort of post and go I don't really think it's worth it finally we get to where I think is the most important place to be posting your work in 2024 as a photographer and that is on your own website I think having your own website as a photographer is essential it allows prospective clients to come into your world and see your work as you'd like it to be seen it's almost like watching a film on your phone versus watching a film in IMAX cinema. Like, it's meant to be watched in the cinema. No filmmaker wants their film to be watched on a phone. Having your photography on a website is probably the closest thing to a printed portfolio in today's day and age. It's fully customizable and it doesn't have all the distractions that come with social media platforms like other people's photography and all the numbers and the likes and the followers and all that sort of stuff. It's just purely for displaying your work at its best. As it's formatted for a computer screen, it's also great for when you're sending your work out to professionals, people who are working in office environments, because they can see your work properly. And you can also separate your work into different portfolios. Whereas with Instagram, you just have one feed of everything. You can separate your work into say, editorial work and commercial work, campaign photography and product photography, or you can have say UK weddings and destination weddings if you're a wedding photographer. You can separate your work into different portfolios and really organize it quite well. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Pixpa. Pixpa is the super easy all-in-one website builder for creatives. Great for photographers, artists, designers. It's the all-in-one platform that has everything you need to showcase your work and grow your business online. The no-code website builder allows you to build beautiful professional websites. There are over 150 really high quality templates to choose from, which are mobile friendly and also fit lots of different styles and requirements. So you can quickly and easily build your website using drag and drop features. Client gallery can really simplify your workflow by allowing you to share, sell and deliver your images all in one place, providing a smoother experience for your clients and potentially increase your revenue. There's tons of built-in tools for e-commerce store building, SEO management, marketing and much more. And Pixbot offers 24-7 customer support through live chat and email so you never have to worry if you run into any issues. To start creating a website with a free 15-day trial, make sure you check out the link in the description. So that's my thoughts on where you should or shouldn't be posting your work in 2024. Let me know what you think about the list. Is there any other platforms that you would add? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. For more of my work, make sure you follow me over on Instagram at Ian Hippo. And for more photography content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.